Actress Catherine Demmel, known for her roles in classic films, had a big effect on many people with her acting skills and hard work. She made a big mark on the movie world. We'd love to hear your favorite memories or stories about this famous actor. Look out for some interesting, surprising, and sad facts about her in this video. Catherine Demmel, an actress from Hollywood's golden era, left a lasting mark on the film industry. She influenced not only her contemporaries, but also future generations. Demmel's contribution to Hollywood was significant, shaping the industry in various ways. Through her performances, she showed versatility and talent, holding the audience's attention and inspiring fellow actors. Her work helped redefine storytelling in movies, pushing boundaries and exploring new themes. Additionally, Demmel's involvement behind the scenes, including production and direction, further solidified her influence. She paved the way for women in Hollywood, breaking stereotypes and proving that talent knows no gender. Beyond her era, her example continues to inspire aspiring filmmakers and performers, reminding them of the significant impact one individual can have on an entire industry. Catherine Demmel tended to be cast in sullen or angry roles throughout her career. In 1953, she accepted the Oscar for Best Actor in a supporting role on behalf of her husband Anthony Quinn, who was not present at the award ceremony. It was the same ceremony where her father won the Academy Award for Best Picture for the Greatest Show on Earth. She played Hispanic women in several movies, including Viva Villa, The Trumpet Blows, The Californian, Love Under Fire, Blockade, and An Old Caliant. Catherine Demmel's roles often showcased her versatility as an actress with a notable range of characters despite frequently being typecast. Catherine Demmel, famous for her role as Zeppelin Reveler in Madam Satan, showed her dedication to her father's direction by bravely jumping into a circus net when others were afraid. She was the sister of Cecilia DeMille, John DeMille, and Richard DeMille. Throughout her career, she played roles of Native American women in movies like Ramona, Black Gold, and Unconquered, bringing depth to these characters and showing her skill as an actress. Catherine's commitment to her work and her family's contribution had a lasting influence on the film industry. Catherine Demmel, an actress of the 1950s, received recognition for her work in film. She won awards like the Best Actress Award at the Zeiss Film Festival in 1953 and the Outstanding Performance Award at the ABC Awards in 1957. Throughout her career, she was honored for her contributions. In 1965, she received the Golden Star Award for her significant role in movies. Later, in 1982, she was given the Lifetime Achievement Award at the National Film Honors. She was acknowledged for her talent with the Icon of the Silver Screen Award in 1990. In 2001, she was posthumously awarded the Cinematic Legacy Award for her lasting influence on the film industry. Her career highlights her dedication and talent, leaving a lasting impact on cinema. Catherine Demmel came from a family with a strong background in architecture. Her maternal grandfather, Johann Kalani, was an architect, which likely influenced her artistic journey. In cinema, she appeared in two films that were nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards Viva Villa in 1934 and Romeo and Juliet in 1936. This shows her presence in important movies during that time. Being the granddaughter of Henry C. Demmel and Beatrice Demmel, she was part of a family linked to the early days of the film industry. This family connection probably helped her get into and work in the world of film. In summary, Catherine Demmel, with her family ties and roles in acclaimed films, had an impact on the world of cinema. Her connection to an architect grandfather and the Demmel family adds depth to her journey in film. Actress Catherine Demmel, recognized as Valentina Quinn's mother, had a remarkable career closely linked to her father's cinematic work. She starred in two of his films, The Crusades and Unconquered. While filming This Day and Age, she met actor Richard Cromwell, who was impressed by her talent. Captivated, he wrote an article titled Demmel, the second for the new movie magazine, praising her acting and unique screen presence. This encounter sparked a lasting professional admiration, influencing both their careers. Catherine Demmel's impact on the silver screen extended beyond her roles. She embodied Hollywood royalty, carrying on her family's tradition with grace. Her collaborations with her father and other industry figures left a lasting impression on cinema history. The actress's influence continues to inspire filmmakers and cinephiles. The narrative of talent, family, and the timeless allure of cinema showcases the enduring artistry of those gracing the silver screen. 
Catherine Demmel, the niece of William C. DeMille, went through a lot of hardships after losing both of her parents when she was just nine years old. Her father passed away amidst World War I, and her mother died from tuberculosis. In a stroke of luck, Cecil B. Demmel and his wife, Constance Adams, decided to adopt her, giving her a new family and changing her name to Catherine Lester. As she grew up, she found herself at the glamorous New York premiere of Lawrence of Arabia, an important event in movie history and a significant moment for her personally. She was there with her husband, Anthony Quinn, who played a role in this famous film, shining a spotlight on her, a symbol of overcoming obstacles and finding success. This event highlighted her strong connection to the movie industry, which had been a major part of her life and provided her with support and opportunities. Her story is marked by both sadness and achievements, each moment adding to her life story and ensuring her place in the movie industry. Thus, the life of Catherine Demmel is a story of resilience, love, and movie magic, continuing to capture the attention of people, showing how a person can keep going and succeed despite tough times. She had a variety of interests, with sailing, riding, and swimming ranking among her favorite sports. However, tragedy struck when one of her sons drowned at the age of three in W.C. Fields' pool. Despite this heartbreaking loss, she found solace and strength in her pursuits. In 1935, she was featured in advertisements for Talon Fasteners, showcasing her versatility and resilience. These experiences added layers to her life, revealing different facets of her personality and the challenges she faced. Despite the sorrow, she continued to pursue her passions and remain active in her career, proving her indomitable spirit and determination to thrive in the face of adversity. Such resilience is a testament to her character and the depth of her inner strength. Her story serves as an inspiration to many, reminding us of the human capacity to endure and overcome even the most challenging circumstances. Catherine Demmel, daughter of director Cecil B. Demmel, appeared in Madame Satan as a Zeppelin reveler. Though she was initially considered for the main role in the lives of a Bengal lancer, it went to Kathleen Burke instead. In the film, she played one of Henry V.I.'s wives at an airship's costume party. Aside from acting, she enjoyed sculpting, architecture, and music. Her hobbies showcased her diverse talents and interests spanning various art forms. Her involvement in the film industry and diverse pursuits left a strong impression on those who knew her work. Catherine Demmel, whose mother was of Italian descent, had an impact on the entertainment industry in the 1930s. Born into an artistic family, she was related to Agnes DeMille. In 1935, she was one of the Paramount Protégés, a group of up-and-coming talents recognized by Paramount Pictures. Alongside five other talents, she was acknowledged for her potential in the film industry. Although she didn't gain as much fame as some of her peers, Catherine Demmel made her mark among the Paramount Protégés, showing her skills alongside other emerging talents. Her connection to the thriving film industry of the 1930s reflects the era's creative energy and opportunities for talented individuals. Her story, along with other notable protégés, gives insight into Hollywood during that time, where new talents aim to establish themselves. In summary, Catherine Demmel, of Italian heritage and a relative of Agnes de Mille, was one of the paramount protégés in 1935, showing her potential in the entertainment scene of the 1930s. 